my name is Lucy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for joining me for this video. You've joined on a bit of a random one, but I suppose it will give you a chance to get to know me a little bit better. And if you're already subscribed, then welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Honestly, you guys mean so, so much to me. I don't know if you'll ever understand. And because you mean so much to me, I feel I sometimes owe it to you to explain what the heck is going on in my life if you enjoyed this video please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know and if you haven't already subscribed then make sure to smash that subscribe button it helps me out so so much i also post content over on tiktok so do go follow me over there if you haven't already and on instagram i love chatting to you guys on instagram replying to stories chatting to you guys on the q a stuff like that so yeah i would love if you guys check me out over on those platforms for today's video i'm here in my comfies i'm in my matching lounge set i have got makeup on because i'm gonna film another video after this but but, like the hair is not really done. I've got myself a hot chocolate. Is there a strong chance I'm gonna drop this on my bed? Yes, but let's just pray for me that that doesn't happen. Oh, so good. Today's video, it's gonna be a catch up, an update on my life. I've got a big life update. I also asked you guys for some questions over on Instagram. So my thought is I'll answer the questions first from Instagram and then we'll do the update at the end and kind of explain to you what's gonna be happening in the next few months. So let's get my phone and pop onto Instagram. Let's answer some questions. Let me take one drink of this. Okay, maybe two drinks and I'm just gonna put it down because I'm really scared I'm gonna drop it. Okay, this is a nice one for a video like this. Do you have any long-term goals? Yes, I do. I'm someone who has very like high expectations for myself and I'm often quite hard on myself if I don't achieve these things straight away, but I know that it's a marathon, not a sprint. And if I keep working hard, I will get there one day. I'm gonna take this in terms of career-wise. So I would say my long-term goal career-wise is I really wanna be a TV presenter. That is always something I've wanted to do. I would love to start in children's television so like cbbc cbb stuff like that please if anyone from this morning so happens to be watching this when holly willoughby decides she's had enough and she doesn't want to do it anymore and you're looking for someone else i'm available obviously i want to do theater as well and i want to do that along the way but yeah ultimate long-term goal tv presenter it always has been i think that's why i enjoy youtube because i kind of feel like i'm presenting my own tv show what's your day-to-day -day life now you're not at Erdang. I don't think I've said that very well. What is your day-to-day -day life like now you're not at Erdang? So if you have watched my videos for a little while, you'll know like pre-Christmas and kind of January time, I was talking about how I had no routine in my life and I really, really struggled with it. And I have kind of over January, February, managed to find some sort of routine which is working for me. And I'm so happy about it. I cannot tell you guys how happy a routine makes me. Does that make me boring? Maybe. Am I not spontaneous enough? Maybe. But I just I'm someone that thrives on routine. Obviously, my weeks change here and there, but my general setup is I work two days at Laduka, usually Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, around that end of the week. Then I have a whole content day, which for me is today, where like this morning I got up, I replied to emails, I filmed TikToks, I edited TikToks, I'm filming YouTube videos, I did content for the grad fest, I made like the Instagram post for the next month, and yeah, so I have a content day, and then I have like two full teachers days which this week are monday and wednesday my content days on tuesday but it just depends when people book in and then i now don't work at laduka on a saturday and i teach on a saturday for half of the day and then i have the second half of saturday and sunday off and it's the weekend and it's working so much better for me guys i can't tell you how much happier i am with my like setup now i'd say the one thing i haven't fully nailed and i do think it's partially down to the time of year is my exercise routine i kind of am just still going in and out of stuff i haven't found my rhythm part of me feels i'm kind of over home workouts and i want to go back to the gym but then i hate a gym environment so i did start running a bit but then we literally had storm eunice and it rained for 10 days and was windy beyond belief so then i didn't run now the weather's hopefully going to be getting a bit nicer like i'm looking out my window and it's like blue skies and sunny yes it'll be cold but i think it'd be so nice to like get outside and run and have some fresh air so i'm hoping like in the summer my workout routine will get a bit more regular and a bit more in a routine essentially because that's not something that i've really nailed at the moment and i need more hot chocolate please don't fall please don't fall please don't fall thank you 
Well, let me answer three more questions and then we'll go on to life update. Okay, would you ever do a master's in musical theatre? If I'm being honest, probably not because I have done my undergrad. I don't think it would be that useful to me personally. I think a master's is great if like you want an extra year of training and stuff like that, definitely go for it. But for me, I feel I've done a foundation. I've done my three years at Erdang. I don't want to do full-time training for another year. I can get the training that I need out of going to dance classes and going to singing lessons. And I've got my agent and stuff now. So personally for me, going back into like full-time training and education, would it be right just now? Maybe I'd go and do a master's in something different in the future, but probably not in musical theatre. What have you found most challenging about the theatre industry so I think I've not faced as many challenges because I have only recently graduated and I think a lot of them will like come to light a few years down the line but I would say like it is hard sometimes to keep motivated and I'm a very motivated person like if you guys watch my vlogs and stuff you'll know like I never stop ever but it is sometimes hard to like get your butt in gear and go to dance class and practice for your singing lesson and do all those things because it's not your hobby anymore it's your job and you want it to be your job and for it to be your job you need to be good at it right so yeah i would say sometimes motivation is hard for me always making a list and a plan is the way to go um what else is hard i suppose like long spells without auditions and stuff can be quite disheartening because you feel like you're working so hard and you're not even getting the opportunity to be seen and stuff like that but i think you just have to always remember like everyone goes through it and your time will come and there'll be spells with auditions and spells without auditions and that's just the way this industry goes okay i'm gonna answer this as the last question and then let's do the little let's say little life update quite big life update can you tell us what shows you've auditioned for and not got of course i can so i'm actually doing a video which is me reacting to self tapes of jobs i haven't got so that will be coming at some point in the near future so the actual only like show show oh no that's a lie so i auditioned for little women at Finsbury Park. I didn't get that. I had an audition for Cosette while I was in college in Les Mis in the West End and I didn't get that, which I was not surprised about at all. I do not think I was ready for it. Um, I've also had some Royal Caribbean auditions for Greece and Hairspray and I unfortunately didn't get them. But yeah, I think that's everything I've had, to be honest. I've not had millions of auditions, but I'm definitely grateful for what I have had the chance to audition for. And they are the shows that I have auditioned for and not got. And I think there shouldn't be any shame around discussing it. I don't find any shame in it because it's so normal as an actress to not get every job you audition for like I literally don't think anyone does even crazy famous successful actors don't get every job they audition for that's gonna be it for the Q&A if I didn't answer your question I'm very very sorry thank you to all of you that sent questions in let's talk about the life update so I'm moving. I don't know how else to say it. This will be one of the last videos you'll see in this bedroom. You're probably all like, what the heck? You literally just moved in there and it was a big drama. Yeah, we've only lived here for six months. We were gonna live here for a year and a half, um, but life happens and things change and people have to move on and go to different places. We are all still friends. We have not fallen out. So do not worry guys. Um, they're all still some of my best, best friends, but life has just had other ideas for us all. And we, we have had a lovely time in this house. I love my room here. I'm gonna miss this room a lot. Actually, I think I prefer this room to my old flat and you guys know how sad I was to leave that flat. So yeah, moving vlogs are coming soon, but basically I'm kind of going to be in temporary places for a little while because of the situation. I'm not able to move somewhere permanent right now. I know this is really like flaky and I'm not really telling you anything, but I am telling you something. But I just think sometimes in life, you you don't need to put every detail of your life on the internet. So yeah, I'm gonna be moving in with a friend for a temporary amount of time. So I just wanted to come on and say vlogs might be a little bit few and far between for the next few months. It's not my space, it's their space. They don't choose to put their lives on the internet. So I don't wanna be putting their home on the internet, if that makes sense. I love vlogging and I wanna still do it as much as I can, but I obviously wanna be respectful to people's space. I hope that you guys can understand that. I am absolutely fine, I am happy. I I've been very stressed and upset for weeks and it just keeps I'm fine and then I'm stressed and then I'm fine and then I'm stressed. I'm literally fine now. It's all sorted. I've started packing actually down here. There's some bags. I've started filming my moving vlogs. They will be coming. I'm going to Dubai on Saturday to see my family. I'm also going on holiday in April. So it's all very exciting, but my life is gonna be pretty chaotic over the next few months. So please bear with. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed it.
it. If you have, please use my big thumbs up to let me know. And to let me know that you're gonna miss this room. Look at my like lovely like gallery wall. And you can actually see here, guys, like this is where all my music books are. I've started packing there. <sighs> it's actually happening. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Moving vlogs are coming. Everyone loves a moving vlog. Holiday vlogs are coming. And yeah, it should be should be good fun. It should be good fun. And you just have to make the most out of these crazy times in your life. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye. Bye.